Hey guys, this is Fireworks Tutorial. If you guys haven't already, make sure to check out my review. Yesterday I uploaded a review on a case. If you guys want to, if you have an iPod or something interested in case review, make sure to check it out. Anyways, here's a tutorial on how you can enlarge an image without losing too much quality. Um, so I found I've actually been searching the web for a good program that will do this, and I found a pretty nice application that allows you to do this. I will put a link in the description to this program and all you do is extract, download and extract the program and just load up the executable file in the folder. So if you've done everything properly you should get a program that's like this. It should be called Smilla Enlarger. This is by far the best program I've seen out there. And you guys can see right here they give you an example picture where you can zoom in right here. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to put in my own image I found off Google, and this is just like an image of a sunset on a beach, and you guys can see that um, the program looks really simple. So over here, I just wanted to give you a quick overview. On the left, you guys will see the source, which is obviously the original image, and on the right, you guys will see a preview of how it looks like when it's zoomed in. Okay, and then and then on the bottom you guys will get a tab where you can get a kind of a zoom toggle where you can zoom in as much as you want. And on the source screen you guys will get a box as you zoom in and you can move the box around. And then down here you guys can change the width and height of the image. And on the left side you guys will get parameter, this is the important box, where you are allowed to change the sharpness and settings of the image itself. Alright. So let's get into this. For example, uh, I'm going to show you how it looks like when I'm zoomed into this area right here on the screen. So for example, let's zoom in on that tiny little rock over there in the corner. And you guys can see the quality is pretty pixelated. But what you want to do is hit the preview button right here, which is going to kind of refresh the image, the preview image. And you guys can see that is pretty amazing quality for such a zoomed in image and now I'm gonna go to if you guys want to change the setting a bit I'm gonna change it and make it a bit sharper so just hit the sharp um, setting right here and hit preview and you guys can see that the quality didn't change much but yeah just you guys if you mess around with these settings enough the image will come out pretty amazing and you guys can also make your own preset by clicking the new button right here and just arranging the presets and then once you're done once you're satisfied with everything make sure to hit the enlarge and save button which will save you a copy of this image now on the side you guys will also get a tab right here on the right hand side which is help if you guys have any you know little questions that you you want answered make sure to check this out before you ask a question you know before you go crazy so make sure to yeah check out the help tab that will, that will probably help you guys out a lot anyways um this is probably by far one of the best image enlarger i've seen so if you guys have any that you guys like maybe leave in the comments if I find any better one, I'll make sure to keep you guys updated with it. And I'm going to show you. If you guys are like a bit hesitant, I'm going to show you real quick right here. I'm going to click and drag this onto Photoshop. And I'm going to zoom in on this image right here, onto the rock. For those that are probably like screaming at the screen saying, no, it's not the best Photoshop is. So I'm going to zoom in right now. And you guys can see, I'm not zoomed in as much as the small and larger, and already it's pixelated as heck. You guys can see the pixels are huge on this thing, and it looks really ugly. And yet, so yeah, I do recommend the small and larger. It's a great program. Um, it's no harm since it is free. So yeah, make sure to check it out. And it's a really small file size. You guys can drop it in a just a small little flash drive, carry it around, and use it on random laptops. Oh, whatever. Anyways, this is, um, make sure to check out Smilla and Larger, one of the best I've seen, like I said many times. But thank you guys for watching this video, and hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will be seeing you guys in my next video.